September 8th. All right, Reaper team, it's September 8th. We're on the Yojar again today. So Zachy just literally picked me up right at my house. Woke up, had a coffee, here I go. So we're just cruising around my lagoon. We're gonna hopefully net some peanut bunker and then back out to the wrecks and the reefs. Hopefully we'll put together a limited fluke. He was out a couple of days ago and without his captain, he struggled a little bit. So I'm gonna show him how it's done. We'll see. So uh, I'll catch back with you guys on the head mount or whatever, but yeah, I'm excited. It's beautiful out. So we'll see. here on the AC reef we're in about uh, 85 foot of water so I'm gonna start off using really what I've been using here for a while now I'll put it up against there so you can see it and all it is it's an overhand loop on the bottom with a four to six ounce weight and then maybe eight to ten inches above that just a dropper loop and a three or four oh gamagatsu just octopus hook um, and then 30 pound fluorocarbon up to a barrel and I'm just dropping down live peanut bunker so We'll see. I'm going to start off with that. We may end up doing some jigging. Um, we'll just kind of see what the fish prefer today. Oh, thank you, sir. Why, thank you. Okay, little peanut bunker. You do your thing down there. You show them who's boss. The other thing that was really neat was on a, a couple times on the bigger fluke, I would feel the peanut getting nervous. Yep. Yep, there we go, baby. That's a fluker. That's a nice one, bub. That's a nice one, Zach. That's a good one. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shnikey, Zach. Dude. Dude. Oh, my God, Zach. This is huge. Oh, come on, baby. Stay glued. <clears throat> oh, my God. Stay glued, Zach. I don't, I'm not so confident this is a, a fluke. Oh my God, come on, baby, be a fluke. This might be my 10, Zach. Come on, baby, it sure feels like he's, don't be a freaking skate. I don't think it is, I think it's a fluke, Zach. I think it's gonna be at my 10. It's a big tiger. Oh, no, I'm telling you, it's a big, giant fluke. Yes. I'm telling you right now. Come on, heroes. Come on, baby, come stay on, glued. Baby. Oh, dude, I set the hook, I was like, am I snagged? Come on, baby, be a fluke. Come on, fluke. I still don't feel any, like, characteristic skate stuff. Like, there's no spinning yet. I feel head shakes. I think it's a fluke. I think it's gonna be a monster. Oh, yeah, it's a fluke. He's not as big as I thought, but he's big. Yes, baby! <laughs> Look at the size of that. He's not as big he as I fat. thought. He is fat, though. He's not as big as I thought, though, but he's big. Woo! I got it. I got to catch one. What'd you do? Nothing. Peanut yeah, peanut. Oh my god, I barely had him hooked. Barely had him hooked, guys. Guys, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. He's gonna go probably 27, 28 inches. Right. Look at that team. That's an absolute, really nice fluke. So right on the edge of the rack, and uh, yeah, beautiful. I can't imagine what a 10 pounder looks like, dude. I really can't. Just can't even fathom what that one looks like or one fights like. That's CBS, yeah. It's okay. It has been my pattern. Sea bass mixed with fluke. Oh, decent one. Hey, fella. That is decent. All right, team. That's a it's a nice black sea bass, but they just closed literally ten days ago. Uh, they're delicious, but out of season. See you, Bubby. All right, team. Set so first drift. We were just using the anchor to kind of just jog around the wreck. So now what we're going to do is actually just drift right over it. So uh, I switched up to some gulp. So top and bottom bucktail, and I 
spiced up that bottom with a little bit of mahi belly. So let's see. I'm gonna catch a big one right here. I'm gonna catch number two right here. Okay. I ain't a glory fisherman. I seek no glory. I seek fun. Somebody stopped me on the parkway yesterday on my way to work. What? They're like, I love the videos, man. I was like, oh, geez. Oh, I got bit right away, dude. That'll do, Clark. That'll do. Oh, that's a fluker. Feels good, too, bub. Feels like another decent one, man. It's so cool how they, they just hit it so differently, dude. It's so fun. They just hit it. It's just such a different hit than them sea bass. All right, you ready, Slick? There's keeper number two. Yeah, you ready? Oh, okay. All right, I got him. Yeah, I'll get him. I don't even have a net, man. <laughs> All right, Reaper team, that's uh, that's two for Chrissy, and uh, big fat zero for Zacharis. He uh, nailed it that one. Hold on, come here, come here, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. All right, team. That's a nice, decent fluker. Let's keep her number two. Hope you can see me there. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. That's a fluke. Come on, baby, eat it. It's a fluke sack, I'm telling you. Yes, I did, baby. What'd I say? Uh, Reaper team, I think Chrissy may just have his limit here. We'll see, actually, he's feeling a little smaller. We'll see, I told you it was a fluke. Oh, he just got a little, made a nice run. He made a nice run. Oh, I might have my get limit. I might have my limit before Zach even has one. <laughs> I think I do. I think I do. You ready? He's gonna be close. I think so. Hi, right, Bram. That's yep. That's three. <laughs> have fun with that. Have fun with that. Team, that's uh, that's my three fish limit. Uh, I don't know what he's doing over there. I'm not sure. Uh, to catch all the bait. Uh-huh. Captain takes credit for all the fish. Hey, it's the way it goes. Let's see. It's my, uh, it's my limit. Now let's work on Zachy's limit. All right, team, so uh, two wrecks down, three keepers for me, none for uh, El Capitan over there. He has, find him. he has a lot of single fluke. Just find him. We're not stopping until we get six keeper flute. We want our two-man limit today. Season's closing. I want to put a couple, a couple fillets in the freezer, so someone's got to start earning his keep here. Now guys, this is precision fishing. If you're off by 10, 15 feet, sometimes even five if you're tog fishing, you ain't catching anything, so. It's not just long, you know, mile-long drifts. Back in the day, before all the dredging operations started, all the inshore lumps, I mean, right off the beach, were just loaded with fluke. We never fished wrecks, and we would limit out all the time. And uh, doesn't even exist anymore. Really sad. Actually, it's a decent sized sea bass that are actually here. A decent little guy. 
All right, guys, back to jigging here. See what we can do. I get him. All right, we're up on the bow now, team. Let's make it happen. Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee, man. Not real big. Nah, he's not real big. Desired species, I think. Desired species, too small. It's okay, bud. We got a little pattern going on here, Slick. Nah. He's little. Him just little. He just a little guy. So that's what's called a fluke. Okay. Okay. That's what we're fishing for. That's what we're out here fishing for. Smaller magic tail bucktails. I think this is three eighths right there. And then this is a three ounce magic tails on my slow pitch tsunami. See that there. So seven foot. All right. And this is the Max L. Hybrid 20. Nice little combo. It's super lightweight. Jig with this. There you go. There we go, baby. Oh, God. That's a nice one, dude. There you go. That's number four. He walloped it, Zacharis. I mean, did he wallop it something fierce. That was fun. That was super cool. He nailed it. You gonna be a net man? Sure. That's part of my limit. Let's get him in the boat. Yeah. Come on, Zacharis. See him? Oh yeah, that's keep. <laughs> he hasn't caught a single one yet. I got four. Uh, oh, dude, I barely had him hooked, bud. That hook came right out, bub. All right, team. That's uh. Oh, he's a dirty little guy. That's number four. That's uh. That's Chris's fourth keeper. And uh, Zachy's still looking for his first fish. <laughs> that's a, oh, he's got some neat markings. Check him out, dude. Guys, he walloped it, baby. Ooh. Oh, there you go, Zacharis. Flukert. Yeah, it looks like a flukert. Flukert. I know. Even on the tog, it's tough with that, you know, to tell. Oh, he's tugging a little bit. Ah, I got one. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Oh, he's cute. I'm going to kill it. No. He's actually not that small. Yeah, he's probably like 17. Nah, if he's a keeper, keep him, yeah. Yeah. No, keep him. If he's a keeper, dude. Never you never turn away a keeper fluke. Gonna shrink. Nah. Alright. Never throw away a keeper fluke. That's number five. I got one. That a boy. <laughs> dude, the drift's paying off, baby. Get him, Zacky. Get him, Zacky. Yeah, well, it looks a little better. Oh, no, he's keep. Yeah. Yeah. That's number six, baby. Yeah, All keep right. him. Yeah, he's he swallowed it anyway. Keep him. Yeah, yeah right. he's 20, boss. You're dead. Sorry. You're dead. Yo, dude, there you go, baby. Fourth quarter guy. Fourth quarter. All right, that's our limit, team. We'll get the little ones. That fish will go about 20 inches. we would be done. Whatever, dude. Dude. Zach got a couple cute little ones. We're gonna go on one of Chris's boats, but they're broken. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The Reapers are broken, both of them. All do luck. What's that? My, my surgeon's loop, my dropper loop broke. Oh wow. I must have chewed it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's perfect. He's he's good hooked anyway. We're done. Six. There it is, team. Two-person limit with some quality too. 
All right, team, so uh, yeah, we put it together. That's our uh, two-man limit. Nice fish. This one's probably six, seven pounds. This one's probably four or five. And uh, yeah, we got one or two that are kind of like this size. Dackies were cute. They're around 18, 20 inches. But uh, yeah, guys, we got it done. It was a mix of uh, jigs and uh, live bait. So um, awesome. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. And uh, both the Reaper boats are broke. I don't know what to tell you. So thanks, we're, Sean. Out, we're out catching food. So thanks, Sean. So Sean saw Zach out here yesterday and kind of gave him a little wink wink as to uh, where he was doing well. So we appreciate it, Sean. With the little boats, you just got to drive them right into the dock. That's what I do. I'm curious what we got in our spot traps. I don't feel anything. Looking around. Two eels. Oh wow, dude, look at that little dude, look at that tropical fish. Right there. Whoa. Look at him, dude. Let's keep him. Look at that tropical fish, guys. I don't want to touch him because I don't want to hurt him. Wow, he's neat. Look, he's like Nemo or something. What the heck is that? I don't want to hurt him. There he goes, he went. So apparently my spot trap doesn't catch spot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, another, dude, there's two more in here. Look at that. There's two more of those little fancy fish. What the heck are they? I don't want to touch them. I don't want to hurt them. Come on, little fella. Ow, I got bit. Look at that little guy. All right, get down there. Yeah, the crab got me good. Oh, wow. Not too shabby, dude. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, that is a nice one there. Yeah, that one's probably seven pounds. I didn't even pick that one. All right, guys, let's weigh this big one here. So let's see. We're looking at, uh... Oh, God. Uh... Probably over... Maybe about 25 inches, somewhere around there. Let's see. Looking at six point six point six six. So yeah, so six point six six, not too bad. Take it. Look at those fillets, guys. Beautiful. Drop the GoPro. Oops. Down on the marsh now. Mm. 
<laughs> Dropped it. All right, let's try that again. And now for the trifecta. Fluke limit plus crabs for dinner. Then crab stuff flounder tomorrow. Sky. You messing me up, yo. Look at that sky. All right. So what are you going to have tomorrow night? Flounder stuffed with crab meat. And who's going to make it? Chrissy. That's right. And who caught the fluke? Chrissy. That's right. Whose boat, though? Zach. Yeah. Thanks, Zach. Really get rid of crow's feet and wrinkles is to get Botox. See what I'm dealing with here? Crabs. I'm trying to eat some crabs, watch a movie, and she's talking about Botox. What do you want? I want to get Botox. Why would you need Botox? So I can look young forever. You're long. You're you are young. Thanks. Did you just zoom in on me? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I figured if you had crow's feet, we'd see it. Not through the glasses. The glasses disguise it. No. All right, can you take me off camera, please? All right, team, as always, little Sopranos. And then, Chrissy's famous garlic crabs. Sarah and John Clayton, you got no chance against these. No chance. All right, hey, Reaper team. So uh, it's the next day after that awesome flu trip with uh, Captain Zach and I. Thanks again, Zachy, for taking me out. Uh, yeah, the big boat's still busted. We're waiting on uh, Jersey Cape Mechanics to come on over and fix that uh, exhaust manifold gasket. Uh, my little boat, my mother fell off the dock uh, a couple of days ago. And uh, in her panic, she tried to get up on my Maycraft and she put her foot on the transducer. So she broke the transducer mount. So kind of out, out on the 18-footer, uh, too. So... Um, thanks again, Zach. But yeah, easy fix on the 18, no big deal. As long as mom's okay, who cares? Just an object, right? So, at any rate, so day after our fluke trip, I have some beautiful steamed New Jersey number one crabs that I ended up, you know, going and buying yesterday from uh, Bob's right here in Epsican. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean the back fin meat out of all the rest of these crabs. It's about, I think, six or eight in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make Alana some stuffed flounder with fresh crab meat. So, yeah, she's uh, she's got it rough, guys. So, stand by. Look at that team. Absolutely, utterly delicious. Normally, I just use my fingers, but when I'm trying to get, you know, this lump meat in uh, in big quantities, I use a knife. Just makes it a little easier. Take a look at that, baby. Woo! All right, team, yeah, so the fruits of my labor out there, it was so hard not to eat all this beautiful crab meat, but yeah, take a peek at that. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix a couple ingredients in here. Um, team, for the most part, when I cook, it's really all by feel. I, I don't go by recipes or anything like that. So I'm gonna whip up, um, just kind of kick up a notch this crab meat, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and stuff the beautiful fluke fillets from yesterday, I'll show you them in a second. All right, team, yeah, so I just kind of thought of it. I think what I'm gonna do to spice this bad boy up a little bit is just some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, a little bit of Old Bay, just some regular old mayo, some crushed black pepper, that's it. And uh, we'll mix all that together, go from there. All right, so let's put a little bit of mayo, nothing crazy. You don't want to overpower it. Now the crab meat already has a little Old Bay flavor to it, but Again, I'm all about just spicing it up a touch here. All right. Got a nice fresh ground black pepper. And then just, just a taste of Italian seasoned breadcrumb, just to thicken it up just a hair. Nothing crazy. All right. Now, let's mix that all up. Get that all happy. Oh my God, look at that team. Oh my God, I can taste it from here, good Lord. Wow guys, take a look at all that beautiful fresh fluke. Just awesome. All right team, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna use some of the smaller fluke fillets. Um, as you can see from the video, we had some pretty big, uh, big specimens. I'm gonna save them for um, probably some fried fluke or just some oven, oven baked fluke, but we're gonna use some of the smaller ones here, especially because I'm stuffing it. So um, let's go ahead and get a couple of smaller fillets out. When I say smaller, I mean they're still really good sized fillets. 
We're gonna go ahead and rinse them off here. All right, so just to finish this out, I just have a, a baking pan, and what I did was I took six of the smaller fillets. Um, when I say small, I mean, that's just relative. Those were some nice fluke. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, instead of rolling it up, we're basically gonna sandwich two fillets on top of each other, and then in the middle is gonna be the, the crab mixture. And then just to go ahead and season up the fillets, we got a little salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and then just some parsley flakes. So again, all nice, clean, beautiful fluke fillets. You can see that. Um, let's get cracking here, baby. It's gonna look be delicious. Some of that fluke, that crab mixture right in there. Oh my goodness, that looks absolutely delicious. All right, yeah, so I just, you know, kind of stuffed that one there. So we'll put a little crushed black pepper, a little salt. Again, guys, this is all just off the cuff here. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be good. A little garlic powder. The thing with fluke too, you don't really have to overpower it. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful white meat. Um, don't go crazy with it. A little paprika, and then a little bit of parsley. I'm not going to use any butter because I feel like the mayonnaise in the in the crab mixture is going to give you that little bit of fattiness. All right, so let's go with the second one here. We'll stuff that. Oh my goodness, team, looks absolutely delicious. I wish you guys could smell that. So yeah, so then we'll take, so we got the crab mixture on there, put another piece of fluke right on top. All right, salt, pepper, onion powder, a little garlic powder, a little paprika for color, and some parsley flakes. Oh my goodness, does that look amazing. Ooh. So team, you can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely delicious. This is going to be Chris's homemade stuffed fluke, fresh. Everything was swimming just about as of yesterday. So uh, I'll let Alana be the judge, and when she gets home, we'll see what she thinks. So yeah, super pumped. I mean, team. Team, is she not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look at her. Look at those perfect little stripes. Chubby cheeks. She is a fly killing machine. I single handedly watched her kill and eat three flies today. You're a beast? You're a beast, like cat. You just kill those flies, don't you? Look at you. You just take down those flies like it's nothing. Alright, team, super pumped. So, Alana says she's on her way home from work, so let's preheat the oven. I'm gonna preheat it to about 400 degrees, and then. I'm so pumped, team. Wifey's home. We're gonna surprise her on camera. See. Hey, hon. Hi. How you doing? I'm alright. How say, you doing? Say hi to the world. Hello, world. How was your day? Not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. Yeah? Look at that hair. Oh, my word. Yeah, you like it? Whoa. I got big hair. What do you want from me? Yeah, you sure do. Alright, hon. Go get changed. You got dinner almost in the oven. Are you videoing me? Yeah, you're on the internet. I got cat hair all over me. Okay. Go ahead and take out the fluke. Looks absolutely delicious. Got to zoom on in there, Alana. Okay. So my beautiful young wife worked a hard day at work. She comes home to some nice, fresh crab stuff flounder, and she's got what kind of wine you got there, Alana. Well, I have Malbec, a red. Usually with seafood. I like white, but this is all we had. So. That's all we got, right? So a 1907 Malbec. So it's gonna have to do. That'll work. Yeah. So a little bit of red wine, none for Chrissy. Thank you. Whoa, that looks pretty good. Pretty sure I have a piece of cork in my wine. Hey. But I'm still gonna drink it. <laughs> Anyone you talk to says a little cork in your wine's no big deal. Nah. This looks so good. Hold on, I can't waste any. No, don't waste any. Don't waste any meat. This is mm. prime. Prime time. See how hot it is? I see. Mmm. 
wool. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's good, huh? Yeah, you did Pumped. good. Yeah. It's tough, you know, you pick these crabs and you're like, oh my god, look at that crab meat. You don't eat it. You, it's so good. You put it away. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Let's see, Captain Chrissy's gonna try some. I'll be the judge. Yeah, you tell me. I'll be the judge. So, I mean, literally everything about this was swimming yesterday. The crabs, the fluke, all of it was swimming yesterday. That's just pretty cool. Nothing is uh, frozen, nothing is refrigerated. <coughs> Oh my god. Pretty good. Oh my right? god. Pretty good. That's delicious. Oh my word. Oh, I bit my tongue. Ow. That's restaurant quality. It really is. Restaurant quality is better than restaurant better, quality. Better, yeah. That's sure good. It's fresher, too. Mm hmm. That's really good, team. Wow. That's one of the best things I've made yet on. The YouTube channel, I think. Yeah. Don't you? That's really good. Yeah, well, I love crab meat and flounder and anything stuffed with crab meat. So. Yeah. Well, it's tough to not like flounder and crab meat. Yeah. And we've got tons left. If you don't like flounder and crab meat, you have problems. You got problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got more, more the next couple of nights. Yeah.